Let's go with a diesel electric hybrid. Get rid of the electric trolley buses. That's what city staff recommends to council. Today they'll present those arguments at a public hearing. Mark stood in checking out the pros and cons of the trolley. He joins me now. Mark, what, what's the transportation uh, department basing its argument on? It commissioned three reports, and these reports specifically refute the arguments advanced by trolley bus supporters. And there's a public opinion survey. It finds that passengers and the general public do like trolleys, but they like diesel electric buses or just diesel buses a whole lot more. Another report from the University of Alberta concludes that, in fact, electric buses are more harmful to the environment than modern diesel buses are. And a third study concludes that it will cost millions less to dismantle the trolley system and then replace it with a, uh, that, that fleet of old buses with modern diesel-electric hybrids. Okay, so wh where's council lining up on this? Well, previous councils have voted to preserve the trolley system, but this time the evidence may be there to kill it, though this may be a close vote when it comes to it. Kim Cruschel is a member of the Transportation and Public Works Committee. She has spoken consistently in favor of scrapping the trolleys. She thinks they're too expensive to operate, maintain, and replace, and that the system is neither large enough nor attractive enough to offer an incentive to people to switch to transit. I just don't see how the trolley buses add up. And I think we're way better off putting that money into LRT and hybrid buses where we can attract riders. I mean, the more LRT we put out there, the more we will be able to attract riders. And I think it's imperative when we look at oil prices and people's concerns that we look at whatever we can do to increase our LRT lines, where we really will attract a lot of riders to our system. Councillor Cruchel also supports the diesel hybrid option as being better for the environment. Although trolleys are referred to in some cities as zero emissions vehicles, the U of A report factors in the emissions that are produced when you burn the coal to make the electricity that the trolley bus uses. Now this report concludes that modern diesel buses produce fewer emissions than trolleys do. So what does that do to the argument that trolley supporters make on this one? It, it's, it's an argument that inflames them. Uh, Irvin Bell is a British mechanical engineer with 35 years of experience with the operation of diesel and electric buses. These days he's semi-retired and he's a member of a worldwide group of people who lobby for the expansion of trolley fleets. Mm, if you've got a problem with dirty car generation, Edmonton, it's not just a problem with the trolley system. It's a problem for the whole of Edmonton. It's a problem for the LRT system. You really couldn't use it against the trolleys. What the Chekhov reports model is that emissions in the streets which people breathe are the most dangerous ones by a very large margin, and you don't get any of those with trolley buses. That is Irvin Bell. He's a trolley bus advocate in the UK. So, Mark, is it a question of trolleys simply moving emissions from the bus route in Edmonton to a power plant someplace else? That's what it is. That's the argument that's been advanced. But if you're going to include the pollution and greenhouse gases that are produced at the coal-fired electric power plant when you compare trolleys to diesel. Shouldn't you also consider the emissions that are produced at the other head end, at the oil sands mine and at the oil refinery where diesel fuel is produced? In, in other words, if you're including Wobbleman in the mix, shouldn't you include Fort McMurray and Refinery Row? So that is one of the things that is sure. raised here. Ed Gibbons is another member of the Transportation Committee on Council, and in the past, He's voted to keep the trolleys. He said he's open to persuasion this time, but he's skeptical about the reports that come from the Transportation Department. There's been manipulation after manipulation to get rid of trolleys. Our administration hasn't done any favors to um, the riders or the um, operators or to the city taxpayers because they have, we've got 34 to 38 year old buses patched together and uh, hard to drive. And uh, there's a totally different world out there if you see the new trolleys. You know, you read all the stuff, we've got lots of friends of trolley, friends of transit, all these other people emailing from all over North America and everything, and uh, abroad, to us. I mean, you're reading it and you're saying, okay, I gotta, I'm got i the person making the decision for our future. I hopefully, hopefully I am alive in 25 years, but say I'm alive, and all of a sudden, in my day, we got rid of trolleys, and all of a sudden, 25 years from now, the council will be able to bring them back in. That's what has to be looked at. That's City Councillor Ed Gibbons, and there will be a public hearing starting at 9.30 this morning at City Hall to discuss the recommendation to scrap the city's trolley fleet. Council as a whole should vote on the decision by mid-month. Mark, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we'll continue to follow the story, of course, on the CBC Edmonton News. News at the hour, top and the bottom of every hour here on CBC 740 FM 93.9.
It's about five away from eight o'clock. Time for the CBC Sports Show, John Hancock. <laughs> 